Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Literature and Tumblr Chamber in Focus. Today we have with us uh, Steve Lockling from The Boat. Steve, how are you? You okay? Very well, thanks. How are you, Chris? Good to see you. Yes, yes, very well indeed, very well indeed. For those you don't know, my name's Chris Bruce and I head up the chamber in, in Litchfield and Tamworth. We've really been spending these last, uh, seems, months more than, more than weeks now in terms of uh, engaging with some of our, 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 our valued members and businesses based in the Litchfield and Tamworth area, really discussing some of the issues that are important to them as we go through these, uh, these, these, these difficult times and, of course, very different for different industries. So today we're on the, uh, the hospitality industry. Uh, the boat's a hugely well-renowned Michelin guide included uh, awards at anywhere and everywhere it seems over the last few years and a really well, uh, jewel in the crown really of, of, of Staffordshire based um, just the Wall, uh, Wall Island in Litchfield district. Um, Steve is the general manager, um, Liam of course the, the head chef and very well known in culinary circles. Um, yeah I wanted to catch up with you today Steve on a few things we obviously had the new, uh, the new measures that were announced last week they're a you know a key talk of course for the for the industry but just to start with just tell us a bit about the boat in the last three months what's what's been happening where have you been what have you been doing and and, and how have you coped well we uh, i suppose the, the the initial thing was that we, we decided not to reopen straight away uh, when hospitality could reopen we were um during the lockdown we were very much about what we can do as opposed to to what we can't do so we actioned a, a plan that was already in place for redevelopment um initially over a three-year period and uh, but obviously it was such a a great opportunity during during the lockdown to actually start things moving so um there's been a lot of refurbishment inside the boat and there's the gardens have been re redone new polytunnel and new chicken really coop. the ingredients and all yeah, yeah that's it the chickens are still there they've got a new house um got all the yeah, the all the car parks been landscaped so yeah there's, there's been lots and lots going on new bar design and uh yeah. lots, so you've, had, say, yeah, you've had time to take stock and look at where you can improve ready for the reopening uh when it came yeah. and it was about you know it was about looking at um flows of like systems of flow work and you know how we could make things um, better for not only for the, the team but you know how by changing the systems it would help the the guest experience uh when, when they come and join us as well so yeah we're really pleased with how it's uh, how it's gone right uh, and then say so we, we opened uh we opened september uh, september the 4th um as i said primarily for to allow the developments to happen but cheekily to allow everybody else to be the guinea pigs and see what what happens and then adjust our plans accordingly absolutely when we reopen so yeah i, I, I don't know when we were talking just before we pressed uh, press record on the interview your, your why was really important and why guests come to the boat and we've hosted events with yourselves before and many uh, many of us sort of have have attended as, as local residents to enjoy it with our family and friends and and yeah and, and you mentioned that why was really really key to to you carrying on you know, and really pushing forward coming out of yeah life. very much so and um, and the, you know the front of house team uh, have a, a very strong white well the, the whole team uh, but obviously it's the front of house team you have more contact with yeah. uh, and for us it's about creating a, a friendly and welcoming environment for our guests to make special memories with their friends and family mm -hmm. um, and from that we then obviously make the choices that we make with regards to how we do service um, the food, the produce we picked to go on the list, the wines we uh, we pick. So, and also the, as we said before, about creating the the right environment. It's all about feeling, mm -hmm. in hospitality, um, and you know people are having the the right feeling when while they're in the restaurant, and also when they leave as well. Um, Absolutely. You know, the one thing that we say is it's like that feeling that people have when they come out of a, an amazing concert, or they come they've been to see a, a theatre show, or and a they're walking out of the theatre say, saying, oh, that was amazing. When can we go again? That's exactly the same feeling that people, uh, we, we want people to have when they, when they leave the boat in. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. No, that's good to hear. And I say that really struck me as, yeah, you're having that, that right in front and centre. And I'm sure now as, now as ever, it's, it's important to have that, which does bring us on to the new, the new uh, restrictions and, 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 and areas that were brought in last, uh, last week. Of course, the hospitality industry has sort of bared the brunt of that to a degree. Just tell us, firstly, I suppose, on the curfew side, the 10 p.m. curfew, operationally, how has that, how has that worked? And, and, and 
yeah, and, and just give us an insight, a real life sort of example of how that's that's worked. Yeah, I mean, it's it's certainly uh, introduced new pressures, um, mm -hmm. and it, to some to some respect, it kind of goes against everything that you you know you stand for in hospitality. You you want people to come in and relax and spend time with you and enjoy themselves, and unfortunately, we're you know we're now at a point where at ten o'clock we're putting bills on tables and and asking people to to leave yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, very different to half 11 or 11 o'clock yeah or which you know it just goes against everything that we we're, we're about yeah. in hospitality uh i mean we've made we've made a constructive decision and we've actually started dinner service at five o'clock now as opposed to six o'clock um so and I, and I think a lot of businesses uh restaurants are, are doing yeah. the same where they're actually yeah. starting dinner service earlier so the you know the time that we've lost at the at one end yeah, we've, trying to make it we've up tried to add on to the the other end too but uh, yeah so it's you know it's just again absolutely. it's looking at what we can do as opposed yeah, to what we absolutely. can't do so. absolutely and you mentioned around obviously the the guests and you know and your your guests and your you know your customers or your supporters as you know as, as you could even call them are you know are of course vital to the business obviously but asking sure. them to adapt and, and help you with the matters, I think, is important, isn't it? Your point? This is it, yeah. Um, and, and obviously, it's... Um, I mean, I'll, when the announcements first came out last week, we, we spent a couple of days phoning around people, mm -hmm. asking, if, asking if they'd like to move the reservations forward. Um, the majority said yes. And, you know, and I think people have been really good in knowing that this isn't something that, that is in, in our control. Um, so when we are having to go around and asking asking people to vacate the building they i suppose in some respects they're, they're quite sympathetic to it yeah. and un understand that you know it's not it's not a, a choice we're making you know we're, we're just trying to follow the guidelines but it's, yeah uh, you know it's it's very it's very tough telling people you know telling people that they've got to neck their drink and, uh, yeah, and get out by, by 10 o'clock so uh, that's the thing, yeah, and I, I think as you say, it's it's that confidence that yeah that people are yeah you know you're doing your best for your you know for your diners and your customers, aren't you? But you're right, yeah, it must be a it goes against what the hospitality industry is all about, isn't it? That relaxed atmosphere. But I suppose you, we mentioned about the confidence side, and of course that's absolutely vital, and customers being safe and supported, and 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 I think we were chatting away about uh, about Christmas, you know, although it's it doesn't seem too far away. It, it, in, in one way or another, but uh, but you mentioned yeah that that support and that confidence being so, so important, and that that bookings are actually quite looking quite good for Christmas in in relation to the current situation. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Christmas Day, um, we you know we haven't technically launched Christmas Day yet, uh, and we've already got eighty books for lunch, um, which again, you know, is great because that purely goes off, uh, you know, guests having the trust in yeah. us that they're going to enjoy their time with us on, on that day and they don't even know what the menu is yet so no pressure yeah. no pressure Liam and, uh, and the team <laughs> I imagine it involved turkey in some way can you give us any uh, any 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 early indications as a surprise as what will be on the menu or are you uh, you'll think yeah about definitely it? definitely turkey at some point <laughs> but, uh, but apart from that I've no idea at the minute so Liam's uh, <laughs> still working his magic on that one so uh, I've, uh, no, I've, I've, I've no idea as, as of yet so no no, I mean, we're exclusive. No exclusive announcements here today. But uh, no, no, joking no. aside, I think you say that confidence. Yeah, as you say, is, is so important. And, and yeah, and, and I, I suppose having that again, that long, long-term planning, knowing that in a few months you've got you know a really good number of people booking in, that does show that while yes, of course, the announcements have been extremely tough, people are still keen to enjoy good products and good times, aren't they? I suppose that's the yeah. And, it, and again, yeah, we we we've. We spoke about doing things where we obviously during the close time we did a takeaway service. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we've we're looking at ideas of uh, us bringing us bringing the the office party to you as opposed to you coming to us. Yeah. Um, so obviously there's restrictions on numbers that we can we can have in. So yeah, companies may may not be um, able to book for bigger bigger groups to, no. to go out for their Christmas their Christmas um, events this year so we're looking at ways that we can do uh, food that we deliver into you as yeah. opposed to you coming to us 
Um, so yeah, you know, there's there's lots of uh, lots of ideas in the pipeline at the minute for and as you how, say, how we can do Christmas 2020 that's never been like anything before. So yeah, yeah, and I think you mentioned at the start, isn't it? It's looking at what you can do, not what you can't, and, and yeah. having that can't in your mind, but thinking right, well, that's what we can't do. Let's look at and be creative and be be positive. And I think yeah, you're probably a, a case in point there of going ahead and doing that. I think that's that's certainly the right mindset, isn't it? As you say, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, no, good, good, good to hear it. So, so Stephen, you know, just to just to finish off, I suppose you know, as a, a Michelin guide featured restaurant, and a, a, say the only one in Staffordshire, I think I'm right in saying that, I believe, um, is your advice, you know, for those other businesses in your, you know, in your industry or in any other industry. What's the one piece of advice as we go through these rocky times, but still are able to look at some positive, you know, positive. Uh, behavior and, and news from from various businesses give us a give us your one piece of advice i think the biggest thing is is like like we are is is know know your why know why you why you open the doors in the morning know why you you get out of bed in the morning stick to that but uh, this time you've just got to be flexible and concentrate on on what you can do as opposed to to what you can't do and you know it's it's about just like i say being flexible at the minute but not losing focus of what why you do what you do yeah, and and as as proved, as you say, you know that that quality service will shine through, and 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 hopefully, yeah, will transfer to your your guests and your 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 customers and your diners. So, Steve, it's an absolute pleasure. Great to see that and hear that, despite of the you know the, the struggles and the the challenging circumstances, there's uh, there's still some positivity uh, in the industry that you're doing where you can. Just before you go, Chris, as well, just a little um, yeah. note to all your members that um, obviously when we when we came back, we were only opening Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. So in, as of this week, we're opening Thursdays as well. Brilliant. Uh, and we're actually introducing a, an early dining discount. Um, so if you were to book between five and six o'clock, you will get a 20% discount off your off your overall bill. So if you, if you live Sutton, Litchfield, Tamworth, that sort of way, and you finish work at one minute past five, you can be in the boat by quarter past five because there's hardly any traffic on the roads and you can be sitting down and enjoying a discounted meal that's as good yeah. a way to end as any steve absolute right. pleasure give our give our best to your team at, uh, at the boat and especially liam as well and we'll, uh, we'll speak soon thank you brilliant cheers chris